All right, today is a good day for COD. We're finally getting some content. We're getting Afghan, Estate, High Rise, Invasion, Quarry, Favela, Karachi, Rust, Skid Row, Terminal, Crash. We're getting everything. No, no, no. What did we actually get? shoot the ship and to be fair shoot the ship was voted on by the people on twitter personally i thought that there should be a shoot house in a shipment playlist that way you can just pick what map you want to play but if you played mono for 2019 you know that shoot the ship means basically you're only getting shoot house so today we'll be playing shoot the ship until we actually get to ship part of the shoot and depending on how long that takes we're gonna be trying to get our vetsnev 9k mastery challenges done uh by the way this is the class that i got off of google and this is my mastery challenge progress so far i just need to get like 30 more kills for gold and then all the rest for all the other camos and in case you're curious that's the rest of the class i'm using but let's go ahead hop and shoot the ship and see how long it takes for us to actually get shipment okay actually the funny thing here is that when you actually click shoot the ship it says shipment 24 7. let's see how true that is oh yeah it just went away see maybe maybe they're teasing at shipment surprise surprise look where we are Ooh, and we're already getting shitted on. My thing with this is the whole like doing the Twitter poll. It seems like they're trying to take advice from their community and maybe they are. But honestly, I feel like everyone's just been clamoring for some new maps and not just a shoot the ship playlist of the only two maps anyone's playing anyways. But I think there might be a tier one shoot the ship playlist. A unless they've already forgotten about the mode while they're waiting for uh, hardcore to officially be added. So this could be a really great time to get some long shots done. You just hop on shoot house, get like all of them done in one game for each gun. And you can just fly all the way to polyatomic, which is great. Uh, it's pretty good for camo grinders. I already have mine done. I know there's people out there that don't, but I know I got mine done pretty slow compared to a, a lot of uh, YouTubers. But they also added double XP which is you know cool for people that aren't fully leveled up but at this point i feel like levels are pretty meaningless uh I i've seen some discussion go back and forth on levels on whether or not like double xp weekends should even like happen anymore i still think they should because i know there's people that don't get a whole lot of time to play and they want to be up there in levels as well but to me levels kind of feel like something that's only there just to show how long you've been playing for because honestly, like after level, what, 55 is when you get your last like full unlocks? I've been saying 55, but it might be a little higher than that. But after level 55, what do you get out of it? It's not like there's prestiges or anything. It's not like I'm going to see somebody that's level 250 and be like, oh shit, that guy's good at the game. Okay, well, he might be. Because you know I'm not. I'm level 250 and I just got my ass beat. But I remember like back in the day, you would see somebody that's like prestige 7 or whatever. You see that crazy like emblem rank thing next to their name. And you're like, oh. This guy balls. This guy plays the game. Now you see it and you're like, oh, they probably played like a few hours a day the last few weeks. So to me, levels are pretty meaningless. Like just after you get everything unlocked. And I don't understand why they keep pushing for, uh, you know, double XP instead of double weapon XP. But I also understand like a lot of people already have their weapons fully leveled up. But I feel like double weapon XP is a lot more helpful than just double XP. But that's just my opinion. I also have not played multiplayer in a bit. It kind of feels good to get back on here. Okay, maybe not. I'm still just as ass as before. Nothing's changed. I just hope, though, at some point in this game, Infinity Ward takes a hint and they just drop in a big map pack of all the maps we want to see. Maybe not all at once. You know, maybe I'll, I'll give it like one at a time. That's very, very generous. Give us like one Modern Warfare 2 map. Actual like 2009 Modern Warfare 2 map. Like each update, maybe. And by update, I mean like season one, season like two, season two reloaded. Like, it doesn't have to be all at once. Because I know they, they're still going to try to drip feed us. But at least give us a bigger drop. Because I am getting sick of just shoot house and shipment. I'm not going to lie. And honestly, it kind of feels weird to be playing on keyboard and mouse right now. I have not really played, like, shooters a whole lot. I hopped on DMZ a little bit. Uh, I used some of my keys because uh, DMZ is supposed to be getting wiped soon. Which I saw a lot of people surprised about. Which is fair. Because I feel like a lot of people playing DMZ are just like COD players that have found a new mode and not a lot of people coming from like Tarkov. And not that I, I've played a whole lot of Tarkov either, but I know there's like, they do wipes in the game so that like, you know, newer people coming into the game can catch up, get better things. And just to, you know, give you something more to grind for, something more to do, like go back and re-get all your stuff which is almost kind of like a prestige. So COD elements in there a little bit. But for the most part, I played a little bit of DMZ and that's all the, the shooters I've been playing just on keyboard and mouse because I've 
I got Elden Ring about like a week ago and I've already dumped like 50 hours of my life into it. Uh, that game is so much fun. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. And I, I did upload a video on it of like my, my first day of playing. And I am significantly farther than that video now. So uh, I think I'm gonna be posting like one Elden Ring video a week, but I am like way, way further than I was in that video. But it's been kind of refreshing to go and play something different while COD's kind of in like a content lull. I've been having a, a lot of fun with it. Like, it's just cool to play something different for a little bit. And I think we did just finish our, our gold challenge a little bit ago. So all these extra kills are just for me. It'd be cool if I could change camos mid game. I don't know why they, they don't allow that yet or no cod's done that so it'd be nice to just be able to change camos or check my camo challenges in game but i i've been banging on the table for that for years now and i don't think it's gonna happen oh what i actually hit that i kind of just threw it i would hate to be them but can i be honest with you guys you know keep the secret you know bring it bring it in a little close i kind of like shoot house better than shooting it sometimes i know that's probably a crazy opinion but shoot house i feel like there's all there's a little more room to breathe and i can kind of just have fun on here shipment's fun when you're the one beating ass well, a lot of times i'm getting my ass beat and sometimes i need some long shots so i like the the variety that shoe house can bring i'm actually kind of dusting what happened? Did I have like SBMM decay? I don't think we're gonna win still. Actually, we might. We have 20 seconds left. I can bring this back. No, I can't. No, they have a prox mine or cluster mine there. If I would have cared about the time a little bit more earlier. I still do have a full minute on here though. I haven't just been killing. Oh, still lost. Okay. I, that was a far cry to try to win it there, but 54 kills and almost a whole minute on the hard point. That's not bad. Now we got our gold mastery done. Let's switch on to platinum and we need 200 kills with this. And I know you're holding your breath. We got shoe house again. This time it's a bit of a game in progress. Uh, I've already died twice. Getting my ass kicked because they have people holding down some angles on each of our points coming out of spawn. And I'm going to be real. The A spawn here. Actually, I don't know. I, I felt like in Modern Warfare 2019, I really hated the A then spawn. Then you motherfuckers like play the game. Go to B. Damn, these guys are getting mad about Dom. That completely threw me off my train of thought. But since these guys want to scream about an objective, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to win this game, but not for them. For me. For them yelling at me. And I'm going to do it with the most kills too. But what does a good domination player do? Not capture C. This guy is not a good domination. Oh, well, I guess he is nuts. Because I know it is called domination. And you would think, oh, if we get all flags, we get all points a lot faster, which is true. But if you hold A and B... You're going to be getting more points than the enemy team, and you'll know where they're spawning from, and it'll be easier to take out and defend. If you go and you take their, the enemy flag, you're just putting yourself in a, a worse situation. All you're doing is disrupting the spawns, making them spawn behind you, and making it easier for them to attack your flags that you have. It makes it very easy for them to flip it on you and get their, like, C and B spawns, or B flags. Oh, ho, ho! eat that, bitch! What happened? You a throwing knife in you? Almost got him again. I was going for it again. I was running straight for the throwing knife. I got a little too cocky there. This is a, a bit of a, a slug fest. They're only up by 20 points. We can just keep going back and forth on B. And we get one guy that flanks real hard on A. That it honestly takes a lot of us out. We got one person defending there. So I'm going to head back. You know what? I'm going to be that guy. And I want to push C. Just for the kills. Looks like my teammate had the same idea. But fuck it, dude. Let's just take it. And now let's go back and take A. Okay. Maybe I'll spawn near there. Oh, I did. Optimal. Oh, nice little double, a duble. And that guy's not even playing. That gave us a nice little boost there. It's a risky play, but we made it work. If we can just grab B here for this last little run, it's guaranteed win. Okay. What a nade. By smooth dong. Took out nuts and me. Okay, I think we won. Nice try. GG's. Did not finish with the most kills, though. What? Went positive and we won. So I'll take it. All right. So we're three games in. Still just shoot house. Where does the ship come into play? But I'm going to win this game too. I'm playing for dubs only. I don't know what happened in the first game though. We might have lost. I honestly do not remember. I'm getting all the captures. Okay. I think they got some thermals going on over here. Yep. Kind of a crazy play. I'm not going to let that stop me. Okay. Maybe I will. Philip just dicks me down. I'll just take A from him then. What are they going to do about it? Nothing. Oh. Maybe a little bit. I was not expecting there to be another person there. Oh, that should have been a kill. Still beat his ass and break his spine. Give me that. These guys still don't even know I'm here besides the guy I just killed. He's going to re-peek. Wait for it. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, we're going in. I got maybe a little too aggressive there with uh, some subpar aim, but we had a little play on them. We did something for a little bit. I'm going to keep playing aggressive in their spawn. If they're not going to get any caps on us, we might as well just end this early. Easy dub. We take those. Five caps too. That's all me. Wait a minute. Something seems off here. This isn't a shoot house. This is shipment. We actually did it. They only took four games this time around. You know what? Honestly, I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Good on you, Cod. 